I love to get applause. Even before you've started to get applause, it's fantastic. I don't know about the other two gentlemen, but I have to say having a mic like this makes me feel like Britney Spears and <laughs> as if I'm going to get up and do a bit of a jig for you, but I won't. I promise you I wouldn't, uh, wouldn't do that to you all. So yes, thank you uh, for having me along today. My name is Sabrina Corrigan from Octopus Investments, a company some of you may well know, but probably many people don't. Uh, because we are a specialist investment company, as, as Jasmine said, we tend to look at innovating completely new solutions. Well, I say completely new. Many of the types of investments we do have been around the UK for the last 30, 40 years. But we're constantly looking to create something new for clients because we are in sort of more difficult times in terms of cash returns. We all, I saw lots of nodding heads there when I heard, you know, cash ices, you know, exactly what is the point you know you put your money into a cash ice to return absolutely nothing to you or 0.5 percent or something like that so octopus are a company that look to offer alternatives to to other types of investments they won't be for everybody um, but obviously that's what uh, jasmine and the team will will sit down and, and have a look at for you so the things what we'll be talking about today i have to just put out there some of which will be deemed higher risk investments so we have to make this very clear in this day and age. We can no longer just say, don't worry, put all your money with us and we'll keep it fantastically well. You, there has to be a level of risk taken to uh, achieve the sort of returns or the sort of outcome that you want from your investments. So that really just covers this off. Um, so who are we? Well, I've been with Octus, Octopus for eight years, which would make me an old timer. Would you believe I'm an old timer? But in the world of Octopus, actually, that is uh, when I joined Octopus, there was just less than 100 people. Uh, we're based up in London, but I, I work all over the sort of south of England. Uh, but now we're actually a company with more than 600 employees. We're actually one of the fastest growing companies in the world, which is a lovely thing to say. The founders of our business um, came from asset management themselves, and they started the company in the year 2000 to be something different, really. We wanted to do something different, be something different, and offer something different to our investors. Today, we manage about 7.2 billion of funds under management, so we're by no means a small business. We're a very um, large and fast-growing company now as well. And luckily for me, after eight years, they give you a month's paid holiday, so <laughs> I will be taking that very soon indeed. Uh, and what do we do? As I say, we, we look at sort of the alternatives to investing into your regular equities, bonds, cash, etc. <coughs> um, generally, an awful lot of what we do are tax incentivized products. By that I mean, if you are investing into these sorts of solutions, the government will give you various amounts of tax breaks on those. So whether they be uh, income tax breaks, because all of us are paying, unfortunately, quite hefty levels of income tax, to capital gains tax breaks, to inheritance <coughs> tax breaks. Uh, but also we then have these alternative, not tax related solutions. But this is because the government want investments to happen into sectors such as these. Never has there been a more important time for the UK to invest heavily into its own infrastructure, its own businesses, its own companies than ever before. So Octopus uh, have worked very closely with the last two or three uh, consecutive governments, really about understanding where do they need money to go. And I'd say we all understand why we need money to go into renewable energy. So this is to take us to a place where, well, legally by 2030, we must be getting 20% of our electricity coming from renewables by that stage. So moving away from oil and gas and, and coal. That's the move that this country and all of the G8 countries have, uh, have, have agreed to, apart from, of course, we know Mr. Trump and the Paris Agreement. But this is the way the world is beginning to go. We need to take away our uh, focus on fossil fuels. Healthcare, and I think we only need to lift uh, up any paper and read about the enormous pressure the NHS is under and the infrastructure we have in the UK for hospitals, for care homes, for <coughs> all of the things that we're all going to need throughout our lives and until if we're in our 90s and in our 100s, if apparently I think, I don't think it's my generation that's going to live to 100, but certainly the generation before me 
are all going to be octanarians, as they are called. Um, and that puts an enormous uh, re resource request in, into the space. But of course, the government don't really have the money to invest into that. So they allow private investments such as ourselves into that sector. And then also into areas like lending. Um, again, this comes from the fact that the banks have really either A, been restricted in terms of their lending activities, and B, they've just, if, if anybody's had to deal with a, a bank recently for a mortgage or a buy to let mortgage, you'll know just how difficult it can be now to, to achieve finance from the bank. So they've allowed lots of other players and the government want this to happen. They, want, they don't want the retail banks to be the only resource for lending in the UK. And then lastly, into companies into small, growing UK businesses, whether they be startups, whether they be businesses on the alternative investment market. And this is our speciality. All of these areas that I'm talking about are our speciality. We, we look to invest and to achieve various things, whether they be tax breaks or whether they just be better returns on your money when you have not achieved re decent returns on cash or, or don't want to go into the equity market as well. So the first product I'll talk about really comes back to this um, problem about cash really because unfortunately in the UK we, we are in an era of very, very low base rates and most people believe we might see some small incremental increases in base rates over the coming years but nothing too significant. Certainly everything that uh, Mr Carney is from the Bank of England is talking about is saying if they do anything it will be in small uh, increments. So we'll be seeing low cash rates, low interest rates for some time to come. Um, and people are a little bit more concerned about volatility, stocks and shares, so I see some, some nodding heads. We've just seen uh, quite a significant market correction. I just did an event uh, recently with JP Morgan and BlackRock, two big asset managers who they believe volatility is just going to be, they're, they're very positive about the outlook, but certainly that to get returns, you will be seeing more volatility, i.e. risk in stocks and shares, because we just don't know how the markets are going to go uh, in the coming years as well. And then people wanting to ver diversify that ISA portfolio, that existing ISA portfolio. Would you believe the statistics about how much new money was invested into ISAs last year? It was £33 billion pounds was invested into cash versus something like 22 billion into stocks and shares. So it just goes to show you there is really still in the UK, you know, for, a, for a various reasons, a concern about equity markets and people looking to just keep that cash reserve there. But unfortunately to keep that, they're getting very little in terms of return on that money. And people looking to target a regular level of income, you know, and I know that's important for people at various stages in their lives, but certainly when you've moved into retirement and you just simply want something that will kick out a steady level of return year after year after year after year. And that's the sort of thing Optimus are hopefully looking to do. And you want an investment that doesn't necessarily have to be tied up for five years, three years, you know, do some of you go online and look at the uh, you know, fixed term interest uh, accounts which will tie you in for three years or bonds that will tie you in for five years and the like? We're looking at something that's an alternative to that, that is more of a, a easy access rather than you being tied into the money. And looking to do, uh, maximise your savings allowance. I think a lot of people, and I know if you sit down with Jasmine and the team, they'll explain to you that actually there is this fantastic thing called a savings allowance here in the UK to put against any interest that you're earning. And unfortunately, if you're, not, if you're in the banks and you've got money in the bank, you probably don't even need to use the savings allowance because you're not earning anything on that money. But hopefully the product I'll talk to you about in a second, you'll be able to use your savings allowance against that to, to minimise any uh, interest. So the product itself I'm going to start with is called Octopus Choice. And it launched about two years ago, but actually the underlying um, investing that is, is in this product, we've been doing for about the last 12 years. The best way to describe it really is it's a lending product. <coughs> so has everybody heard of Wonga? Yes, everybody will you know, nod their heads a bit and you, and you re open the papers and you hear all about these uh, lending solutions that charge you 
129% uh, interest rate, something crazy like that. Basically, where that's all come out of is something called peer-to-peer -peer lending. And this is a, a, a regulated, much of it is a regulated activity in the UK. And again, this goes back to the fact that the banks aren't lending, certainly not in the way they were before. So people are having to look alternatively for lending. It might be bank of mum and dad. It might be bank of granny and gran. That's the other one. And then aside from that, you'll ha find all of these lending solutions in the market, which will do any type of lending you can imagine, unsecured against your, your lovely piece of fine art, or something like this, which is secured lending. So Octopus effectively have been invest oh, or investing into this area for 12 years, and it really is lending against property, which everybody who has a mortgage understands because that's exactly what it is. So if you invested anywhere between 10 pounds, and I'd hope that everybody in this room would have a 10 quid, but you wouldn't get very much really for your money, to a maximum of two million pounds into this solution, that will be invested across a portfolio of loans against property. So that's simply what it is. It's no more complicated than that, it's simply that. And for that, for, for you giving that money to Octopus to invest for you, you will be getting somewhere around a four to four and a half percent return. The product was launched uh, just when I was on maternity leave actually, and then I came back off maternity leave and I thought they encourage everybody in the Octopus to, to invest into our own solutions. I knew exactly what we were doing because we've done it for years before, so I put a hundred quid in, diversified across 60 loans, um, I can literally see exactly where that loan is, i.e. the property, not full postcode, because we don't want anybody going, driving up and down the street and <laughs> knocking on a door or something like that. But it will give you the rough postcode. It will give you exactly how much that property is worth. It will show you the loan that Octopus have, have created against that and your proportion of it. So you'll have a proportion of that loan. And it will show you how long that loan has been lent for. So generally, this is all short term lending we're doing. To give you an example, um, does anybody here run buy to let portfolios or have buy to let property? So effectively, that's this, this is the world that we are in. So we have um, our residential property developers say they've got a property down in uh, over in Winchester. They are going to do it up, put it on the market and obviously sell it. And maybe they're looking for a short term bridge or short term finance against that property because they're going to go find the next one at auction. They would come to Octopus. Generally, you used to go to the banks. I worked with HSBC for many years and we did bridging finance when I was there, but HSBC and most of the banks have sort of moved out of this space. But they come to Octopus, the property's worth half a million pounds. Octopus say, okay, we're going to lend 50% loan to value against that for you. You're a stable property developer. We probably know you quite well. We take full security against that asset while we have that loan out to you. And then you'll repay us in a, in a given period of time. And that is the typical loan that we're talking about. We do this all <coughs> across uh, the UK. So uh, Scotland included as well. But generally speaking, this is all in the south of England. So when you invest onto the platform, whether it be 10 pounds, if it was 10 pounds, you'd have two little bits of loans but you'll see where those are, you'll see when that's going to be repaid, etc. To If you put two million pounds, which is obviously a great sum of money, it'd be diversified across hundreds of, of loans. And that's really as, as difficult as the product is. Now, it can help, you know, and, and hopefully what we show is that there is this space between cash, because this is not a cash product. We would never say this is for the money that you want to get at immediately. This is for people somewhere between investing into cash and equities. They don't want to be in equities or they, they are actually fully in, invested into the equity market, fantastic. They have a lot of money sitting in cash, but they're just not achieving anywhere in uh, the way of decent level of returns. So this is just that alternative potential investment in the middle of that. But the fact is it's all secured, 100% secured against an asset being property. And whether you like it or not, we're obsessed with property here in the UK. You know, we're not going to move to the French model anytime soon where you're going to rent your home for 
50 years or 100 years, people want to get on the housing ladder and want to buy their properties and live in their properties for, for the rest of their lives. So this can be invested by individuals, by couples obviously, and as, as Jasmine was saying, by businesses as well. Because we're unfortunately in the position with the UK where quite a lot of companies are, are risk averse. They've just been through a recession. So they're holding quite a lot of cash on their balance sheets. So again, this is money that can be invested off a company's balance sheet and be achieving a four to four and a half percent return as well. Powers of attorney can do that. Also charities, trustees and court appointed deputies. So basically anybody in the UK apart from a pension. Unfortunately at the moment a pension fund cannot invest into this solution but we're working around that at the moment as well so we may well have that at some point in the future. So I'd say if, if you, we've got brochures here, um, you can go online and have a look but I would generally steer you towards Jasmine who would show you how to, to set this up if it was of interest to you or see if it was appropriate for you in the first place. But it would be just as simple as setting up the investment and as soon as that money goes onto the platform, it immediately gets matched to a portfolio of loans. And really is as simple as that. Now, when you then want to review how it's doing, you can either call up Jasmine and the team and, and check every day if you like. You can go online and you will see your portfolio. Or like we're all doing now, is you can have an app on your phone as well, your phone or iPad. I, I, te I tend to look at mine maybe once a week because I just like to see, I'm nosy, I like to see where the properties are that we're lending against. I like to see, oh, that one's in Kensington or, or that one's down in Southampton. Or, but you'll literally be able to see everything, where that money is deployed at any one point in time. And then that interest will either come back to you monthly if you want it, the interest can be paid out monthly, quarterly, half yearly or annually. Or if you didn't want the interest at all, I, I don't take the interest from the product, I roll the 4% back in again and that just buys me new loan parts. So it, it just is compounding my growth effect basically as well. So you've absolutely got the option. And then at any point in time in the future, should you decide, actually I would quite like to take the 4% return please, you just write to Octopus and set that up. Or in fact, you can do it online as well yourselves. And then you have the ability to withdraw all this money at any point in time. So I had a look at my portfolio this morning. I'm now diversified into about 120 loans. And it tells me as of today that I can invest, I can disinvest 100% of my money today. So it will also give you the, the ability to see just how quickly you could actually sell out of this if you wanted the money back again. So that's the key. We're really looking for a high interest uh, solution for you that gives you the ability to get back your money at any time you wish as well. But hopefully um, many people have invested with us for the last two years into the solution too. Now we'll have to talk about benefits and also risks. So it targets obviously as a, the biggest benefit of course is this 4% return because as I say and fortunately with cash we're not going to be achieving anything like 4% return probably for, for some time to come. So an alternative to that. And it is 100% backed by bricks and mortar security. So just to point out, there's always a first charge we take against that property. So should that borrower default, we have first charge, we just repossess the property and we would sell that at auction ourselves. So unlike Wonga and the folks who do that sort of lending, they have absolutely zero security. We would not go into this unless we have 100% security in the solution. And Octopus put, because we've been so confident of this product, we've done it for years, we've done this lending um, for the last 12 years, as I said, we co-invest. So actually every single loan on my book has got 5% of Octopus's own capital against that loan. So again, that brings down that sort of loan to value for the investor too. And that's really just a, that's a kind of a promise to our investors. You know, we're in this with you and we're also, if there was a, 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 a difficult position, we would be the first to lose out before the investors would. And we've an established lending track record. So just to give you an idea of, of what we've done over the years, we've lent about three billion pounds to the residential property market and we have lost money once. And that was 250,000 pounds on a property. It was a, a really difficult divorce case where actually the chap was married twice. 
unbeknown, obviously, to uh, each wife. Um, so it would, that was a very unique position. But that gives us a default rate of about 0.001%, around about that sort of level. So we really are about you know, making this backed, backed by property in a big way. But we can't say that your capital is not at risk. What if we were to have a downturn in the housing market? You know, what if we were to have a recession again? But again, what we're doing is because we're lending typically only 50% or 60% against the value of that property, you would have to see something much worse happen from the last recession, even worse than that again, to affect the property market here in the UK. But again, we can't say it's without risk. <coughs> And the thing I will point out is it's not yet covered by the compensation scheme. So many of you may well know um, about the compensation limits. So that's where the regulator will uh, compensate you if somebody like Octopus disappeared. So we were negligent, we went bust, something like that. And they may pay out to get against that. The reason it's not covered yet is just because it's a matter of time. This is a new area of, of investing that the government allowed to happen only about two years ago. That was when they brought in the permissions for advisors to advise on it. So really it's just a matter of time before that, that comes into place. And we can't guarantee instant access, whilst we've always been able to meet the requests for everybody who's wanted their money out today. Uh, should it happen that we'll have to say, okay, well actually it'll take a week, two weeks, three weeks to disinvest, we would of course be upfront about that and let you know and as I say, lastly, it could be affected by a downturn in the property market. So this is not, as I say, just to make it clear, it's not a cash product. Cash is the safest thing, really, most of us can do, whilst you, we have all our thoughts on the banks, really. But this is about getting money to work harder, that money to work that bit harder for that bit more interest, but having a security against it as well. And a company like Octopus putting in our money like, with yours too. And as I say, we, we've won sort of every award across the industry for the solution, but for the team itself, so for those of you who are property developers, um, the Octopus property team are very well known because really aside from the banks who do this type of lending, we're the biggest provider of this sort of short-term uh, bridging finance in the UK. And we'll do these things conservatively. We will decide upon that property. If we will visit the property, we will meet the property developer. This is all a very bespoke approach to, um, to property lending that we do. We have a huge team behind it. There's about 60 people now in that team, all across the UK, as I say, and they go out and they meet uh, the property developers all around the country. So you, some of you may well know us in that respect. And that just goes back to, yes, it, it, how much w the figure now is about three billion pounds that we've lent in total uh, and how little has been lost in all that time. So that's a bit about Octopus Choice. It's just a quick run through of it. Um, if you have any more questions, please do ask me at the end. But the, the final thing that I'll cover for you as well, I did mention we also run tax solutions. So one of the biggest reasons that advisors like Jasmine and, and others will come to Octopus is because we are the biggest provider of business property relief solutions in the UK. And that's, I'll talk through the uh, legislation now in a second. But effectively, it's giving inheritance tax exemption for investing into this area uh, of, uh, of investments in the UK. And is it still a problem? Well, did many of you think that when the, um, the Conservatives launched this new residence nil rate band and started talking about the magical million pounds um, tax allowance, inheritance tax allowance, many people thought, many of us will not have a, an IHT liability in the UK. But actually, whilst they did all that, they themselves have predicted that they'll be increasing inheritance tax receipts. So it's a bit of a sort of scratch your head. Well, why on the one hand have they given an exemption, an extra bit of exemption, and on the other hand, they know they're going to uh, achieve more in, in terms of inheritance tax receipts? One thing is we're all living longer. So actually, people's value of their estates is rising. <coughs> whether that be house price or whether that be the value of your stocks and shares invested through through potential etc rising in value um, but this unfortunately means that a lot of people are beginning to lose their allowances their nil rate band the residence nil rate band 
And if anybody's ever looked at the legislation around the, the resi the, your main residence mill rate band, it's a piece of legislation so grey and full of holes, most barristers that I've met said it's, it's the, one of the worst pieces of legislation they've ever uh, created. Because it's really meaning that a lot of people get caught in the trap of inheritance tax when they didn't think they would. So there's never been a more important time really to, to discuss inheritance tax planning with advisors and, and, and bring them into that discussion. And just part of the, the ability to save inheritance tax is this type of product. Because of course you can do many things like gifting your money away, setting up trusts, spending it. I think that's the best thing you could do. Uh, I do tell my mum and dad, honestly, please spend your money. Please buy a new car. It's the same car you've had for the last 20 years, you know, because there's no point in just not spending this money. And it's going to be lovely if it all passes down to me, but really that's the biggest way to save your inheritance tax. But quite a lot of people find that difficult when they get it later life. It's very difficult to change your spending habits. So it's just another option to save inheritance tax and it's called business property relief. And what is it? It's a tax, it's a tax, a government led incentive really for investors in the UK. So quite simply, the government say, and this legislation has been around since 1976. So it's a really built in piece of legislation uh, in the UK economy. And it's about investing into UK businesses. And should you invest into a product like this, that's what it would be invested into, UK companies. And by doing that, you get an inheritance tax, tax exemption after two years. So much quicker than seven year planning. Uh, it's two years and it's simply that. If you invest and you've hold that investment for two years and at the time of your death, it would be exempt from inheritance tax. So the government really wanted to in many ways, support UK companies. And to do that, they gave this inheritance tax exemption. But I would say most of the time, clients aren't aware that it's a, another exemption that is available to them. And why did the government like it? Because it obviously it encourages investment into UK companies. So even though this legislation has been around since 1976, this is probably the point in time where it's never been more important to support UK companies going into Brexit and beyond and they're really quite happy that this legislation underpins it as well. So we have two products that we, um, we invest the money into. One of them is an AIM portfolio, which would target growth. And uh, we talked about you know, the fact that this is investing money into UK companies. Not all UK companies are small. Hopefully we all do know that. Many UK companies are actually very, very big companies and they sit on what's called the AIM exchange, the alternative investment market. Companies like Domino's, many people will know, Majestic Wine, some of us know too well, <laughs> companies like that. But these are very large established UK companies and they qualify for this relief. So Octopus's job as an investment manager is to choose 30 or so of those businesses on the AIM market that we believe are strong, stable, growing, we like the management teams, we meet the management team five times a year, we understand pretty much everything there is to know about that business and then we would invest clients money into that. Now the great thing is you can do that now under ISA rules as well, so whether or not you're aware, um, ISAs unfortunately, whilst your ISAs have been growing in value over your lifetime, they're income tax free ISAs, they're capital gains tax free but they're not inheritance tax free. So sh should there be an inheritance tax problem on the estate, an ISA would unfortunately fall into that trap. But about three years ago, in 2000, and, well, five years ago, sorry now, 2013, the government brought in a rule that said, if you invest AIM companies under an ISA or transfer some of your portfolio to an AIM portfolio, then after two years, that ISA becomes inheritance tax exempt as well. So it's the first time in UK history they've actually given that ability to bring ICEs outside of the estate if there's a, an inheritance tax problem there. So it's a very popular solution as you can imagine now, quite a lot of people who've built up large ICE pots over the years. An octopus would be the um, specialised investment manager responsible for running that portfolio of stocks and shares underneath there and hopefully getting uh, much in the way of growth. But that's not always for everybody because that growth would read higher risk to be fair. 
So we also created a product going back 12 years ago that just targets capital preservation. This is the one called the Octopus Inheritance Tax Solution. And again, that's invested into areas like renewables quite heavily, uh, healthcare assets, and lending, the property lending that we spoke of. It's the biggest business property release solution in the UK. We manage about two billion pounds in that one product alone. And for people all the way from the ages of, in their 60s to a chap called Frank I met before Christmas, who was 103 when we met him. Now that would be on the rarer side, uh, but we think we have about 100 people over the age of 100 that have invested into this product. Because what they're looking for is just to be exempt after two years from inheritance tax, but just to preserve the capital. Keep that capital ticking along. It, it just achieves a 3% return after that as well. So those are the two BPR solutions that I wanted to talk about. Um, but we do have to talk about risks because remember we're talking about investing into UK companies. So that might be small UK companies, that might be some quite large UK companies. And the tax relief will totally depend on your own circumstances. So that's why it's so important to get advisors involved in that estate planning. See if business property relief fits for your time of your lives or in terms of risk profile, et cetera, and all the rest. It's, we all understand how to gift, gift our money away and all of those things, um, but business property relief will be something a bit different in there. So it's important to, to seek uh, financial advice on that. And that's it for me. So I think I might have uh, yeah, been, been a little bit early, um, but happy to take any questions, but thank you very much for your time. <laughs> Sabrina, is uh, Octopus Investments related to Octopus Energy? We are indeed, absolutely. So when I mentioned that we do an awful lot of investing into the renewable sector, uh, we, we're actually responsible for about 60% of the solar market in the UK. So we build these panels, um, solar sites, uh, God, I could, I could probably give you about 10 sites that are around this area, again, because we have to get to renewable energy <laughs> targets. And then what we realised was we're building these panels out, but actually we're just selling the electricity to the grid, which is then coming back to you via EDF or NPAR at an inflated price, because we've, we've all heard about what the big energy companies have been doing. So there's been a lot of pressure on uh, the energy companies, the big five energy companies, to be fair to their clients. So we realised, actually, let's just cut out the middleman. So we became an electricity supplier. So we built these solar sites. Why don't we just provide that renewable electricity direct to clients at a much cheaper price. So have any of you used us? Fantastic, <laughs> good to hear. Um, if you haven't, have a look. Uh, we were actually the only which recommended energy supplier in the UK just a couple of months ago, the only one. So uh, there's, there's many more people than NPAR and EDF and the like that can supply your electricity. Octopus is just one of them, but we'll be a renewable <laughs> supplier and our prices would just be a lot fairer, yeah. yeah. But that, that's sort of an offshoot of, um, yeah, of the investments we've done in that space. Any other questions? No? One of the things that was quite interesting, I, as I said to Sabrina, she started talking to me about the Octopus Choice Solution over a year ago, um, and I hadn't spoken to any other clients about it. At that point, I won't. We will test it and put our money in there first to make sure that, because it sounds really good, mm. and I, you know, whenever I meet with any investment provider, they'll do have a healthy amount of skepticism as you would expect me to on your behalf. Um, so we put our money in. I've got the app on my phone, so if anyone does at the end want to actually see the app or anything like that, I've got that on my phone. There's, there's some of the smaller investments that we've got on there. And I've been playing with it and testing, like you said, getting the money out, how long it takes and things like that. And it's, about, it's about three, four days. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. You know, it's how the app wants to take the money out. It's about three, four days to sell the loans down and then have it converted into cash and paid into the bank account. So whilst, of course, you know, it's not instant access, it's fairly quick. Yes, so yeah. 
Um, and it's like you said, it's so interesting seeing the loans. And there was a moment as well that one of the loans defaulted in my portfolio, and I thought, oh, <laughs> this is so interesting to actually get to see that someone was overdue in their payment for a month, and then within, I think within literally the next the next week I logged on, they had paid their, yes. their loan payment, and they were back into the green. But it was so interesting actually to, to see that and how all of that mm. works and operated. So again, if anyone has any questions offline for Sabrina or myself about that, then uh, you can let us know. But thank you very much again, Sabrina, no for problem. giving up your time and being here. No problem. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.